We can have tea and milk. Tea and milk. Tea and milk. Good morning. I am just going to get dressed. I think I'm gonna wear this. This is like a really flowy jumpsuit. It's from ASOS, but I think I got it from thread up so i think i'm gonna wear this with maybe like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath or something i wore this the other day it was just one of those things in my wardrobe that i was like oh, this is bump friendly i am nearly in my third trimester i can't believe it i did feel like my first pregnancy went quite quick when i got towards the end but i do feel like this one is going even quicker i'll show you give you a little bump update another thing is i I'm not counting the same that I was the first time and not taking as many bump pictures as the first time. I'm gonna get dressed. We have had so many questions about if we are gonna announce um, if we're having a boy or a girl. I think by the time this is out, everything else will already be out on our Instagrams and our shared YouTube channel, me and Gabe's channel. But if you don't follow along on any of those, I can tell you what we're having. I'm gonna get dressed first. Okay, this is the outfit. I'm blending into the wall a little bit, but since it's gloomy today, even though we're kind of heading into summer. This shirt still works because it's not super hot today, but I feel like as I'm getting into summer, this jumpsuit will still be really good. Like it's so roomy for my belly, but I'll just need to wear like maybe a tank top or a short sleeve. I'm gonna put some jewelry on. So I just got some new pieces from Missouri. I will show you what I got. I feel like over the past couple years, I have just like accumulated a lot of random pieces of jewelry and I've been wanting to find more timeless and versatile pieces that I can wear with any outfit that I can have for years and years and years, like good quality, nothing that like irritates my ears or my fingers or anything like that. These are the first ones I got. I'll probably put a picture up on the screen and I'll I'll say what it's called, but these are the little, um, I think they're called medium beaded hoops. They are so pretty and dainty and I feel like they're a perfect everyday hoop, but also something that I can dress up. So I got these, but I'm going to go back on and look for, I have one extra hole in this ear and then two in this ear, one other one closed up on this side. So I want to go back on to find others to put in my other holes. Okay, this is the next thing that I got. It's a really, again, like just dainty, timeless little diamond necklace. Okay, so this is it on. And then I also got this little M necklace. M is the letter of my daughter, Micaiah, and my dog, Milo. <laughs> my middle name, Monk, my favorite TV show. <laughs> just kidding. McLaren, Formula One. No, I'm just kidding. When we have like a definite name for our next baby, uh, I'm gonna get a matching one of these. So I'll get another one to have like both of their initials unless we do an m then it would work out for both kids and our dog <laughs> just to show you a little closer that's how they sit anyway i will leave their link down below i can also put a qr code on the screen let me know if this works you can go and check out all of their really pretty pieces thank you majuri for sponsoring that part of the video makai is down for a nap and i'm gonna make some of her favorite snacks it's banana plain yogurt and then i'll either do peanut butter or almond butter she likes to eat it fresh you can also freeze them and then they're like a nice like cold frozen snack so if you do follow us anywhere else like our instagrams you probably would have already seen this but we are having a we're having a boy we're having a little baby boy Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. I'm excited the news is out. It really was unintentional that we found out quite a while ago and we just hadn't gotten around to like getting all the footage together and making the video. We did like a little song on Instagram and I don't know, this time around, probably because we already have a toddler, things have just been happening a little bit slower. By the way, I just slice the banana up and then you put a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of peanut butter, like drizzle, drizzle on top. Anyway, so we took what's called a sneak peek test, which I didn't know it was a thing when I was pregnant with Makaya. Um, it's something that you can take pretty early on. And so I had gone to this 3D ultrasound place where they do it for you. And it's just, they draw some of your blood. It's like a, it kind of sticks to your skin. Totally pain-free. I wish 
which that's how all blood tests were. So that was pretty early on. Well, not even really, because I think you can take a sneak peek from seven or eight weeks or something like really early on. This one, I think I took maybe at 13 or 14 weeks. Got the results back, which is what you see in the Jess and Gabriel video. If you watch it, that's the sneak peek footage. And it came back boy after we found out that the sneak peek was a boy. I was doing more Googling. There were like all these forums that were saying that their sneak peek was wrong. And so I was like, okay, we'll just wait until they can see on the ultrasound or um, we did the genetic testing, which can also show the sex of the baby. So I think that's why it took so long. We found out in February, it took a while for us to do the genetic testing and get th those results back. We got those results back while we were in Australia, which was such nice timing because we got to tell my family in person. And we would have waited to tell Gabriel's family in person too, but we were in Australia for around a month and we felt bad like that my family would know so long before Gabe's family would know. So we ended up doing a call. They were all really eager to find out and so they're all really excited. Now talking about names, which we have been all along, but I think now that we know we've been like, really trying to decide on names. If you have a favorite boy name, could you please let me know down below? Because we actually think we have his name. When I was pregnant with Micaiah, we Micaiah was always our number one choice. We wanted to wait until we met her. So we met Micaiah a couple minutes old and then decided that we were gonna call her Micaiah and then technically told her first. I like the sentiment of that. Anyway, so I think we're gonna do that again. Gabe is actually saying this name and I'm like, whoa, 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 like this is not her resent. But, but yes, we are we're open to ideas. So if you have a name that you really love, please let me know. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing these. I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. It doesn't look good at all. I'm gonna put on an audiobook for a little bit. Again, does not look like the best, but I'm gonna put these in the freezer and then she'll be so excited when she wakes up. These are her favorite snack. I also thought I would mention just while it's on the top of my mind, I just wanted to say thank you for the support for when I work with brands. I feel like I have been doing more than usual recently. A lot of people that I watch, every single video is sponsored and I feel like it is getting more normal to just have an ad read or, you know, have something in the video for the people that I watch anyway. I thought I would just sit and first thank you, but also explain if you are wondering why is she working with so many brands right now. So January and February were pretty out for me. Um, because of my first trimester nausea, it was just bad. I had to push a lot of brands that I had already committed to working with at the start of the year. I had to push them. So that already made it tighter because they were being pushed to later months and now kind of preparing to hopefully take time off when we have the baby. I just feel like I am now in this middle spot of trying to get as much done as I can before hopefully taking that time off. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for supporting. Even if you click a link or you use a code or if you just watch and you don't do anything like that is enough support. Love you. The video is not over. I just wanted to say thank you. Okay. Okay. We're in my little reading room slash office. It's not really an office. I mean, I do have a big chair here that I work at. I usually work in the chair. This desk has just been with us, I think maybe since 2017. So it has fit really well in this room, but I just don't use it in here. Now we have a proper office space where we can both work. I don't know if we're going to put this in storage for now or maybe try to sell it. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can hear the cicadas outside. If you live in Tennessee, maybe Kentucky, I don't know what, what other areas, but there are so many cicadas right now. If you walk outside, it's like, it's like all you can hear. With our efforts of trying to get some house projects done before the baby, we have completed two rooms now. I'm not sure how much more we'll be able to complete. Now that everyone knows we're having a boy, we are changing the toy room around a little bit. Like we have padded flooring that's pink and we just want it to be a bit more like generically colorful, I guess. So we found some cool wallpaper that we might put up. Again, I don't know if we'll be able to do all this before August. Anyway, even if all of this happens way down the line, we still kind of like have plans in place. So one of them is to paint this room. So with this kind of being a really nice like relaxing reading room i don't know maybe in the future kids can do crafts in here i'm not really sure what this room will turn into and it's also at the front of our house so we keep a lot of our shoes in here i keep a lot of my stationery and yeah makai's crafts and cards but the shoes have been the main issue like we walk in the house and all the shoes are here so we'll be moving this out and then this will be put in the middle of the wall. And then I have ideas for a gallery wall, but I also have ideas for 
painting this room a soft pink or like a muted pink. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm a little nervous when I look at these swatches because I don't, I don't know how dark to go. This middle pink is nice and soft. So you'll need to let me know if you like this color. I might keep looking at different pinks, but I am looking for just like a nice soft pink, nothing super vibrant. I don't expect this room to come together completely before August. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We are also redoing Makaya's room for the baby. She will be going to another room. So we have some different colors that we need to test in there as well. We are testing this green. It's like a really, it's called livable green like a really nice soft green. I don't know what the room situation is gonna be like one day. I don't know how many kids we're gonna have, who's gonna be sharing rooms, but we feel like this green is a really nice versatile color. And then we have these really soft blues that are also really pretty. So that's it for paint swatches at the moment. We haven't decided anything and I don't know if we'll, it's already May. I don't know if we'll get around to doing this before August. But... Just one? Yeah. It's a little bit later. Gabe and Makaya are out on a walk. I've been meaning to show you this artwork that we got for this bathroom. We originally had something else hanging in here, but when we were looking at other prints for different rooms, I found this and I was like, this is so good, especially for this room that we're in. So we're currently in our movie room. We have Gabe's Lego shelf here. We have the electric drum kit, which is here. And then Gabe printed these when we lived in Florida. So we're gonna hang those up. Oh, right, and they're like Star Wars related. Okay, so this is the bathroom. And above the toilet, this is what we put. Darth Vader sitting on the toilet. We just thought that was so funny. This is also the room that people come and use if people are coming over. Like this is the bathroom that they'll go to. We thought that was such a great print. We got that from Etsy. We are all about to head out. Our friends invited us to this little truck event. So I think there's gonna be like police cars and fire trucks and tractors at this park for the night. And our friends found it and are inviting us. So I'm gonna pack some snacks. There's food trucks there, which might just be our dinner, but I thought I'd take some snacks just in case. I'm gonna quickly do that while they're out on a walk. Makaya has some of these little lunch boxes. The brand is Bee Box. She loves these lunch boxes. So this is just a small one, but I might just put some snacks in there for her. I'm gonna cut up one of these. So you know how there's like certain things that kids will call something completely random? This is one of those things. So this is a Mandarin. She calls it Geico. I have no idea what Geico means. Geico is an insurance company in America, which that's definitely not what she's saying, but it's just hilarious that it comes out so clearly Geico. I feel like this is just going to be a running joke in our family for years and years. Like I think everyone is just gonna call these Geikos. If you haven't seen the hack for mandarins, you just slice it down the middle. This is especially good if you have a toddler and then once you fold it out, they're already cut in half. It's genius for kids, especially when you're like wanting to cut these up smaller, but it is more convenient than having to peel the whole thing. Oh. 